Good evening and welcome to Eyewitness News. I'm Suzanne Smith. Tonight's top story is a panther on the loose. Steve Jackson reports live. Hi, my name is Steve Jackson and we are reporting here from West Ashley where we have signs of a panther, a panther, that is right, a panther running loose in these parts. We're here at the, uh, the corner of Piermont. And sir, we have reportings that there has been a, a panther on the loose. Have you seen any panther or any suspicious activity? I found fur balls in the peanut pot and you know, it's just it's kind of hard to sell peanuts fur balls. People get choked up about it. Excuse me, sir. Are you, uh, are you on the, are you looking now for the panther? Have you seen the panther in your yard? We saw evidence of a panther. Sir, have you seen any panthers in this area or any, uh, anything unnatural or unusual? A lot of fox. Wild fox? Wild fox. I hadn't seen any panthers. Where was he at? Uh, he was crawling around in those woods over there. And that's his favorite one, my friend. And uh, what are you planning on doing about this limb, sir? We're going to set a trap. Oh, you talking about that one that keeps coming to my yard? Yeah. I catch him again, I'm going to hurt him. Okay. It, it was terrible. It came out of absolutely nowhere. He scratched me on my wrist and my arm and across my chest. Man, he's leaving all his tracks and tearing up all my stuff. Man, I'm not liking that. my cat, man. <laughs> hey, your cat. Dude, that shit was crazy. I have a personal vendetta with a panther. It, it, you know, took my best friend and I'm sad about it. And I think we need to catch it and kill it. And, e and eat it. What did the panther look like? Oh man, he was about like yay high, black, man, all that vicious. Shit. He looked vicious, but no, I'm vicious, man. Well, good. I'm glad we got some, we got some we got some guys that are gonna really what are you gonna really just tear this panther up and just. I'm gonna put his head on my wall. What what peanuts has he been eating for me? Anything and everything. He's bigger than me. You don't say no to the panther. You know he's bigger than me. Yeah, the panther's here all the time, going through our food scraps and stuff, and I have to come out here and clean this stuff up every day. And he's always like eating chicken tenders and running off and we know it's the panther that's on the loose because we can see how big and black he is and every day I come out here and have to clean all this crap up. I was walking my dog Fluffy right through these parts and we heard um, some noises. This panther was digging through the trash and it scared me half to death so I ran off this way, Fluffy ran that way. I don't know where the panther went, I don't know where it is. But unfortunately, that's the last I've ever seen of Fluffy. Uh, I hope she comes back, but I don't know. I don't know what to say. I just screamed and ran. I'm blonde, and that's what we do. What happened to you, sir? <coughs> the, the panther got me. I think it's up that tree Which over way? there. If you have any sightings of trash cans knocked over, bad odors, or feces the size of an apple such as these, please call 555-5354 just to make sure that you're safe from any panthers on the loose. This is Steve Jackson reporting live. Watch out for those panthers. If you have seen the panther, please call the SPCA of Charleston or the number on the screen. So far the panther has been seen in these following areas. North Charleston, Hanahan, West Ashley, Folly Beach, and Wadmola Island. Well, folks, the weather has been great this week. Let's check in with John Ashton to see what our five-day forecast is going to be. 